one of the earliest nationalists of the Indian freedom movement, a senior leader of the Indian National Congress, a maths professor turned politician and a social worker. Gopal Krishna Gokhale was born today in 1866 at the Ratnagiri district in the then Bombay Presidency. His generation is perhaps one of the first to receive an English education. Thanks to his parents, though from a poor background, they made sure he graduated from the Elphinstone College in 1884. Since his early days, he was heavily influenced by Justice Mahadev Govind Ranade and was sometimes referred to as his protege's son. Due to his education, he was widely exposed to western and modern thoughts and was influenced by the works of John Stuart Mill and Edmund Burke. He joined the Indian National Congress in 1889 following the lines of Justice Ranade. He was a contemporary of leaders like Dada Bhai Navroji, Tilak, Lala Ji and Besant. He was a moderate leader and wished to achieve independence through petitions, discussions and dialogue. His views differed from the other faction of leaders namely the extremists like the Lal Bal Pal trio. In 1889, Gokhale was elected to the Bombay Legislative Council. He was elected to the Imperial Council of the Governor General of India in 1901 and again in 1903 as a non-officiating member representing the Bombay province. Gokhale's visit to Ireland resulted in Alfred Webb, an Irish nationalist who supported the Home Rule movement in Ireland, presiding over a session of the Indian National Congress in 1894. He played a dominant role during the split in the Indian National Congress at the Suraj session in 1907. He belonged to the moderate faction and wanted to install Rash Bihari Bose as the president of the session against Tilak's choice or the extremist choice of Lala Lajpat Rai. It was the moderates that prevailed and Rash Bihari Bose was the president of that session. Gokhale played an important role in the formation of Sarvajanik Sabha Journal assisting Justice Sanade. His deposition before the Welby Commission, his speeches before the Central Legislative Council, His statistical analysis of the economic situation of the country have made biographers call him arguably the greatest nationalist ever. In 1905, Gokhale started the Servants of India Society because he believed that true political change in India would only be possible when a new generation of Indians became educated as to their civil and patriotic duty to their country and to each other. To bring out social reforms, Gokhale would work directly with the British government. His knowledge, experience, coupled with advocacy for the people shaped him as an outstanding political leader who focused on not just freedom but the people who would live in an open and an egalitarian nation gandhi ji has called him guru or mentor in his autobiography describing him as pure as crystal gentle as a lamb brave as a lion and chivalrous to a fault and the most perfect man in the political field gokhale visited south africa in 1912 on the invitation of gandhi It is often said that Gandhi came down to India in 1915 on the calling of Gokhale. He guided Gandhi on understanding of common people of India and issues confronting them through which Gandhi emerged as a pivotal Indian leader. Despite this Gandhi ji was in disagreement with Gokhale's faith in western institutions as a means of achieving political reform and hence was never a part of Servants of India society. Though parallel at various stages he was often seen at a different standpoint against his contemporary Bala Gangadhar Tilak. Both passed out of Elphinstone College, both professors of mathematics and members of Deccan Education Society, but always differed in their views concerning independence and people of India. Tilak's method of agitation, boycott and protest could never be accepted by Gokhale. Their cold war caught the limelight in the Surat session of 1907 which we saw previously. Another major issue between the two was the age of consent bill introduced by the British government that aimed to curb child marriages in India. Gokhale was completely for the bill and wanted the age of consent to be risen from 10 to 12. But Tilak, though was in support, never wanted the British to intervene in the internal matters of native Indians and believed that these changes must be brought by Indians themselves after independence. In 1908, when Tilak was arrested on the charges of sedition, Gokhale, as a fellow countryman, opposed the same. And in the Surat session of 1907, when things went out of hand, the session witnessed violence and people came to attack Tilak on the dais, but Gokhale stood next to him to protect him. This incident has been recorded in the report of English newspaper Manchester Guardian. Despite the differences, Gokhale and Tilak had great respect for each other's patriotism, intelligence, work and sacrifice. Following Gokhale's death, Tilak wrote an editorial in the Kesari paying tributes to his political opponent. Muhammad Ali Jinnah was so inspired by the personality and work of Gokhale that he wanted to be called as a Muslim Gokhale. Sadly, Gokhale passed away on 19 February 1915 with a wish that Congress would reunite, which ultimately happened in the 1916 Lucknow session. His name is given to the renowned Gokhale Institute of Economics 
which was started by the Sovereigns of India Society. This is due to his interest in economics and his debates in the budget session with the British. In those debates, he took on the likes of even John Maynard Keynes. Through his speeches, he was able to conclusively argue and demonstrate how the British policies were hurting India. Gokhale indeed represented the breed of highly educated Indians, exposed to English education and Western philosophy, who became the backbone of the independence movement as well as social reform. Gokhale married twice and has two daughters. Today, on his 155th birth anniversary, we remember him and cherish his contribution to the nation, though he himself couldn't be a witness to the day of independence. If you like our videos, stay tuned to News Hamster, press the subscribe button and thank you so much for watching.